as you know, on November 7th, that's a Sunday, at 2 a.m., the clocks jump back an hour. Daylight savings ends as we approach winter. And according to my watch, well, one of my watches, this is kind of my second-hand watch, it's still Saturday at 1 in the morning. Truly, it's because I'm having a restless night, and I thought I may as well just get to it while I can't sleep, so I don't have to deal with it later. So I'm going to be turning all my clocks backwards an hour. Uh, I'll start with this one. I just need to turn off the daylight savings function. See here, this is simple enough. It's just a matter of figuring out which button. Okay. There we go. So now, it is midnight. Eight minutes into the next day. My main watch here, my Raketa, I'm going to leave it alone for now. Because it's not time. However, I'm going to change this one back now. It's easier just to move the hour hand back because of this red center second, center second hand, so. <clears throat> There's that one done. This is just a quartz movement, so I can just go back. Okay, and the Seiko, it has rack and snail striking. So, simple enough, it can go back. Okay, right there. Looks good. Alright, uh, quartz crapper. Let's see if I can do this. Just goes back like so. Alright, and this one, it can go back as well. No reason why it can't. Right? Where's that? That one's done. SVS Fine Technique movement made to be pushed backwards. German. All good. Yeah. Okay. And um, down here we have this one. Which can go back as well. It's just about 11. 12, 11. Okay. This one can go back as well. It's just about 11. There we go. Now we come to the first one that must stop. This is my hearth. Japanese long drop, which must be stopped for an hour because it has count wheel striking. So, I actually don't know why I opened that door. I'm not going to worry about that right now. This one, uh, it can go back because it has rack and snail striking. So, I'll go there. This Japanese alarm clock can go back as well. Like so. Yep. These travel alarms are a pain to do on camera, so I'm going to do them off camera. And they're done. Next is this Howard Miller. Shelburne with a Hermley 341-020 So it can go back. It's just gonna Throw off the chime a little bit, but that's okay, okay. All good and this one has to stop actually it can't go back it has count wheel striking <clears throat> Now this one it can go back 
via the hour hand. Because it's a time only clock. Right. Off the bed. Oops. Okay. And here we are at the Friedrich Malte Schweningen. This one can go back easily enough. Just like so. It's actually running a bit fast. Just a tiny bit. All good now though. This one always runs fast. I can't do anything about that. But round she goes. Perfectly safe. Don't worry. Just confuses the chime a little bit. As Tommy Wiley says. Now over here is the Schneider. It has a regula movement in it which is also safe to push back. No issues there. This one has a Hermley 351-030 in it. So it will go back just fine. No arguments there. Now this one it has a four-pointed fan type of thing that lifts the bellows for the passive cuckooing so it can't go back via the minute hand it has to go back via the hour hand there we go now the trend it has a variant of a 1051 movement from Hermley so it's safe to push back Right. Moving to Freddy. Um, this is my Seth Thomas Cullen clock. Has count wheel striking and a very old movement, so it has to be stopped for an hour. This Chinese bracket clock here, modern enough. I actually have to move this bulova out of the way for a second. Spotted enough can be pushed back. There we are. And now this Gilbert 30 hour kitchen clock. It must be stopped. Because it has count wheel striking. I'm timing these two in currently, so I'll get to those a little bit later. So let's just do these for now. This is my WH tradition with a 1050-020 movement. Perfectly okay to push back. There we have the new time. This one's glass likes to vibrate, so I gotta give it a little push. Alright, once more. Another Hermley. This is a 340 020. Okay to push back. Yep. Yeah, close enough. There we go. Okay. Now down here. Uh, a Waterbury mantle clock with rack and snail striking, surprisingly, so. Can go back with no issues. Um, trying to make sure it's 18. Oh, whatever, close enough. Okay, this baby 30 hour cuckoo clock has count wheels striking, so it must stop for an hour. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot about the boulevard. Okay, this one has a cover. An electromechanical movement, and it can only be switched from the back. It's gonna freak out a little bit, but that's normal. It has a self correction mechanism.
it's now doing its final correction there I caught it on the last two notes I think and it's all good now this 30 hour musical cuckoo clock can go back easily enough this Seiko can be pushed backwards it has rack and snail striking but it kind of freaks the chime side out a little bit so I will just move the hour hand the hour hand is actually connected to the snail so no matter what position the hour hand is in on the face it will always strike the correct hour oh boy okay it's a little bit tricky to turn this piece of junk backwards on camera but I got it. Oh. It sits up there. Out of view where it belongs. Okay, now this one, it can not be pushed backwards. Despite it having rack and snail striking, I must stop the pendulum for an hour because there is immense amount of resistance when you try and turn the hands back beyond the hour and the half hour. This Sessions has count wheel striking like your typical American clock and it must stop. Contrary to that, this Plymouth from the Seth Thomas Clock Company has rack and snail striking. And it's a quarter striking clock with instructions that specifically state to push it back to set the time so it's perfectly safe. And this Korean Parliament Dejin bracket clock can also go back. Yep. And my black case Ingram. There's a little hole down here where you can reach up and stop the pendulum. It must stop for an hour because it has count wheel striking. Right, so I've done a little bit of cheating. This one can go back just slightly past the hour. Or before the hour, I should say. This one is the same story. It can go back to there, which is about where I need it to go. So that's all set now. This one should be the same story. Okay. Yep. There's 57. This one as well. Quite loud. Okay. Now, this one I'm not quite so sure, but I think it should be okay. Yep. Alright. Now, this one here must wait for the hour. This one can go back a little bit. Whoops. Can go back to 58, which is where it needs to be. Start it by tilting the case, close it up, all good. This one, same story. Then reach under, start that pendulum. It 
just for when it comes time. And uh, to, sh to demonstrate to you the resistance, see that right there, I cannot push further or I'm going to either break or bend the release lever for the striking mechanism or I'm going to snap the minute hand off. So let's not allow either of those things to happen and just start it when it gets to 59 and 30 seconds which is coming up very swiftly so come back around here and give it a little nudge once it's appropriate there we go all good Yep. So, that's all my collection set, I do believe. I don't think I missed one quite yet. Actually, there's two that you're going to see when I come back in 24 hours or 23 hours or so. So, I'll see you then. Well, here we are again at 22.36 Saturday. I am going to switch this one forward. It's going to be hard to do on camera, but I'm going to do it anyway. There we go. And I meant backwards, not forward. Get your brain together, Daniel. This one here, it's just a Japanese long drop. I don't think it's really deserving of its own video. It has an Insonia clone, just like my other Japanese wall clock. Insonia clone movement, so it has count wheel striking and it has to stop for an hour. Now, this one, as you just, I don't know if you just caught that, but it, it's, uh, it's actually about to go, so if I push it back. Oop. As long as I wait for the, the release lever to lift up, it's okay to push it back. So, there we go. It's safe. Okay, that knocked out a sequence, but it didn't damage it, so calm your butt down. There's a lever back here, that the chime release lever, I can actually just reach around and activate it. So now it's back on time. Don't freak out. Now that I'm leaving my room for the time being, I've got to be quiet. So I'm gonna go around the house and just turn everything back silently.
All right, back down here. I can cheat a little bit on this one to about right there. So I'm gonna wait for 56 actually to get this one going once more. We are set now to standard time, so that's the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.